God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening. We have a uh, short meeting this evening with the uh, possibility of uh, South Pekin Valley Ambulance coming in. And then we just have a quick non-public session. A few announcements to make. Uh, Friday, July 12th will be a pickup pickleball game uh, from 5 to 8 p.m. at the tennis courts. They will have paddles and balls for those who need them. There is a free family movie at Memorial Park, The Wizard of Oz. <clears throat> the movie will start at approximately 8.15. Come early for a free craft for the kids and snacks are for sale. Saturday, July 13th, <clears throat> Farmer's Market is 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, here at the town office complex. The next market will be on July 26. There'll be a free teen adult movie night, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. The movie starts at approximately 8.15 and snacks will be for sale. Uh, Sunday, July 14th, as a reminder, there will be a memorial service for Ed Decker between, <coughs> excuse me, between 3 and 7 p.m. at the Sauhegan Country Club. And on Monday, July 15th, the Museum of Science uh, field trip will be at Memorial, uh, the Museum of Science will be at the Memorial Field at 11 a.m. for a presentation about reptiles. A backup location will be announced if there is bad weather. And this is being sponsored by the Stearns Burton Lecture Fund. For more information on any of the programs, you can visit the Parks and Rec website at the town of newipswich.org. Any other announcements? <laughs> no, the, um, the contract just got sent over to me. I don't know if we want to. If you want me to send it to you and try to print it. Yeah. All right. I didn't bring my keys. I did. It's okay. It's going to be in three emails, okay? Okay. Do it by week. Mm -hmm. Tell me how they're all. Well, they're just all over the place. Now they're all. That's yeah. probably what happened. Something. There's got to be a glitch. I got November third of fifteen, followed by November thirteen of eighteen. <laughs> just notice that. Now.
just three pages? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Is this what Bot had drafted in their comments? No. That's what I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find the original. Well, I, I have the original, but I'm trying to find the other piece that Bart had sent. I think I have got me to get. If you have it, yeah. Sorry. Because there's some stuff that's highlighted in it. I guess what he's saying is, and I'll show you what he's highlighted, I guess what they feel is that they have met what Bart asked. The indemnification language that Bart suggested. Well, what it is is, so we had one of them. Do we have one that says Bob's comments? Um, I guess what, okay, let's see if I can find it. It was an email that Bart sent. There's something on the back of this one. There's an email dated July 12th. How about July 27th? <coughs> yeah, that's the other piece. But so, yeah, he was talking about the indemnification. Are you reading this one? Are you reading a different one? But the word may sound like they would be. So see, this here is something see this, that see, they've drafted, correct? Right. This is their original one. Oh. They've made no changes. This is the issue. Their main concern is that the wording that, I guess, Bart wants done is there is that the wording makes it sound like they would be held solely responsible and liable for anyone and everyone that is at the incident scene if something additional happens, i.e. a firefighter or policeman gets injured during the call. And that's not what it's saying. And that's why we've asked them to seek counsel, but they won't seek counsel. They continue to just read it themselves, interpret it themselves, and return. So, I guess... Right. And we so, talked about this, what, two months ago? Right. Six weeks ago? So, so like this that. is what they've highlighted. Obtain and maintain necessary insurance to include liability auto workers' compensation. SVA will so furnish the town certificate of insurance and endorsement prior to executing the contract to commencing work demonstrating the town and its officials, agents, volunteers, and employees are named as an additional insured on the general liability and automobile liability insurance coverage on a primary and non contributory basis. So Correct. this is what they feel is that this is saying that again their interpretation is, is that this part here and specifically this part here is saying that SVAS is insuring the town's employees meaning the police and fire but any general liability or automobile liability so those are distinct insurance 
parameters. Mm -hmm. Right. Whereas the one below the right. identification is something different from here. Right, and they have that hi highlighted as well. Okay. That again, they feel, and I'm only reading yeah. what I was sent, yeah. is that again, they're feeling that the um, SVAS is being held responsible for ensuring everyone at the scene over they, and above their employees and the they injured would be party for the general liability policy so in other words if they are driving the ambulance and they back into someone they are going to be liable okay and right. we want to make sure they're insured so that would cover the general liability portion of mm -hmm. it as well as the automobile i guess it yeah, they I mean, did something you know, different basically it's damage usually to person or property right, right. The indemnification means if they've done something, let's say, to a patient, and that patient turns around and sues the town, they need to indemnify us and defend us. So in other words, it's their obligation okay. to retain legal counsel. All right. I think what we need to do <clears throat> to clarify this yeah. is um, get, I'm assuming, Jim and... Uh, Daryl here uh, so that that can be explained to them but I think I can say it but it's going to go and they're going to have a difference of opinion and as you've said if they don't go to someone that explains, explains what that is it have they tried to reach out to their insurance carrier I don't know that would be the prime to go to because I think this is pretty much boilerplate language right and that's what I took I mean the, the piece that I gave them which was sent by Bart is basically yeah. it looks like something that you would get off of any insurance carrier type thing hey this covers you in case of a contract that's not Upton and Hatfield's you know intellectual property yes yes yeah. so um, so I would just if I will ask Sean, so could you reach back to them and ask them to go through their insurance okay. company and if there is not a resolution at that point uh, let's invite them in and try to talk mm -hmm. I mean you know it doesn't cost us anything to talk you know, other than frustration but not that but I'm just saying I don't have the experience that an insurance company does or a, a lawyer I know just in my daily business, we deal with this, and it's pretty much just a boilerplate right. language. Yeah, two, uh, two insurance companies argue who owns what. Yeah. And did they get this <laughs> note about Primex? Says that that needed to be two million. I don't believe they did. We should make sure they are aware of that. Is this stuff, this new stuff, is this what Bart said? No, I yeah. think no, they the did draft this. is the. Uh, no, I think this was. I think there was an original draft, and I think maybe that this was then changed. Carlotta made these changes. We would I have can't to see. Find that in any of these. Right. So okay. I think this was. So Car. They started with this. Right. They started with that. Yeah. And then this was what was added through, what Bart gave us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's his language. Okay. Okay, this says, this one here is before the, a revision. Yes. Then this one. That was what was sent to Bart. Yeah. And then this is what we sent back <coughs> to them as our. So this came this from is Bart. Bart slash Carlotta, yes. Okay. This was our draft back to them. Okay. That this is, this was what our council suggested added, being added. Yeah, this is pretty weak in my language. It really is. But, you know, even if they don't want to hire an attorney, they could run it through their agent. Mm -hmm. This was here, Joey? Yeah. So, they're not actually 
Are they actually saying they don't agree with this? Correct. Okay, so the stuff in yellow is, okay, gotcha. Yes, the stuff in yellow is the, the items that they feel puts them at too much of a risk over, like I said, that they feel they're taking responsibility for the town's employees at the scene of an incident. But it would only be if they were liable for it. Right. Yeah. Since a firefighter could injure somebody carrying them out of the building and you know put them in the ambulance, and then everybody's saying, "Oh no, we didn't injure him. Oh no, you did." You know. So I mean, and it, So this is what I'm, I have sent. Um, please ask them to bring this MOU to their insurance carrier so that they can help explain to them why this needs to be worded this way. This will save them money instead of going to a lawyer to have it reviewed. We will be happy to meet after they seek advice if there is still confusion. Also in line 10, our insurer, Primex, says that the dollar amount per occurrence needs to be raised to two million. Let me know if you need me to help communicate anything. That sound right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, uh, the only question is if they raise the per occurrence to two million, does that affect the aggregate? I was just reading that here because the aggregate was also two million. Uh, is there anything in there from Primax?
Okay, I'm reading here. Uh, Primax. Uh, it said that the minimum amount of two million per occurrence. So they didn't <clears throat> mention anything about the yeah, I aggregate. But the other thing is, prior to that, there's an email from Bob. Yeah, that's what it has. Section 5, which I don't know what is this what he's referring to. Shall have mutual aid agreements with yeah. other so we would want oh. copies. Is that in there? So SBS SBS Southern Valley, Valley Ambulance will have. I, at first, I thought he meant we had to, but no. it's them. Yeah. <coughs> what are you saying? We should have copies of yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but that kind of also raises the question: what? sort of insurance do these other licensed ambulance services have? Are we even concerned I think, about that? I don't think, I think it's, we're covered under them because it's a mutual yeah. aid agreement. Hmm. I'm just saying that they may have a different. This is the most current. Because he here is saying that under section two, under the town's responsibility, should make it clear that should the town fail to appropriate funds, blah blah blah, becomes null and void. And we don't I don't see that in this agreement here. So that's why I'm wondering if this is <coughs> the most up to date or not. This one? Was it this one? This one would be what we sent to date. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So under the town. That's worded the way I would agree. Yeah. Because on that is saying as long as uh, it's presented in OR and article gets approved that we would be going with them. At some point in time I could foresee that somebody says, Well, either let's take it under our wing or there's a new right. yeah, company in town or whatever. Yeah. I, I, you know, there are people out there who are unhappy with the ambulance service. Yeah, but I think it's, but they're unhappy with everything. Um, <laughs> um, I think, <coughs> I wouldn't worry about that, but I just know, I mean, that, that wording isn't even in there. Yeah. Uh, I'll just go with what we have now, and then yeah. we'll have to. Yeah, I, I really think we ought to. Take a second look at that aggregate amount, though. Usually, there's the two separate amounts. But that was the only thing that they commented on was our it? insurance carrier. Yeah, so, said it has right. to be two million yeah. per occurrence. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I can understand that, but you know, yeah. but I'm just saying normal practice. Yeah. Joanne, do you know if you have this in a Word document? I 
I do not know. Okay. I'm wondering if we do have it in a Word document. I do. Should we, or do you, ha you have it? I do. Should we not add these comments from Bart into it? Probably could. Send this to you right now. To get this section into it, and I think you can put it under the payment. Uh, the town responsibility. There's a section for the town. Yeah. And then uh, the contract shall be null and void if the funds necessary to support the services are approved. Oh, use that wording there. And then another item would be uh, that the contract is only for a one year basis because we've never voted to. I think it says that right in here that it should be renewed, uh, reviewed annually. Beginning. Yeah, so last uh, payment, that second, second page, page. Uh, down the last line on the bottom. Should be reviewed annually. And what does that say? The term of the contract is not entirely. It appears to be on an annual basis, but only states it shall be reviewed an annually. Unless the town votes on a longer term, it must be limited to an annual agreement. Yeah. So, so <coughs> it should be that. Right. Correct. Yeah, I should yeah. Say, uh, yeah. Yeah, shall be reviewed and renewed. Should the word be reviewed or approved? No, it should be this agreement shall commence on signature and shall begin on and expire on. Yeah, okay, that's fine too. You know, give it the one year. So I just sent it to you in the word. Okay. This week, uh, hoping to get that email off to Eversource regarding the street lights. Last week, we talked about the recommendation made by the DOT for putting lighting up the crosswalk. Mm -hmm. Should we add that poll? I, I think we agreed that we should. Yeah. We oh, did. Oh, so good. I just oh, want to. Okay. No. Found it. Yeah. Like okay. Seven minutes. Goes to nowhere, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the answer is yes. Yeah. Okay. 
So is this the list that you're gonna send, David? Or what? Just, it, we had identified, I think, eight maybe. Some get removed, others get added. And I was thinking before I send this, I should make sure they agree to add that one to that list. Uh -huh. say that the people from Green Farm were coming today? I thought he maybe he recommended okay. yeah um, I will just so their their recommendation just so you know um, the it's owl and then whatever so way drive lane whichever is their preference owl how did we get that letter for Granted, then that's the other one. That's the oh. that's the group that didn't come in. Oh, so okay. that's uh, Gary Somro, and I'm not sure who the other ones are. So that's the 25, 26, 27, I think. And the other one was in the 90s, and they wanted they wanted Owl. I wanted Owl Court because I'm kind of a I'm a comic book nerd. Court of Owls was in Batman, so that was my thing. But they like. <laughs> But owl. Okay, bro. Let's have a discussion here. <laughs> a grown-ups discussion. <laughs> so, so yeah. So yeah. So they want owl. So it'd be owl, and then lane drive place. Are you naming them all drives? No. Yes. So owl drive. I didn't say that. She asked, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, is there anything similar here in town? No, I'm just trying to think though when you say owl, well, what? Say that again? Where? You know, type thing. It's not my street. Yeah. I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> sounds, like, sounds more like somebody screaming in pain. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. Uh, I said we. Perhaps maybe a more definitive name that doesn't. Did they have a second? Nope. Owl. Was there a significance to it other than your? No, I mean, they, they, no, I mean, it's it, it's the, the the five houses or whatever got together, and that it's that's the one that they. I, no, I'm just wondering why they would pick that over some other. Because I don't think I I think they wanted to keep it something similar, but that's not really an option because we already have, like. Five other greens, yeah, stuff, stuff in town, so it starts to get confusion. So they chose owl. All right. It's pretty neutral. It is, and it's unique to town, and and he's starting very his... historic. There's owls in New Hampshire. <laughs> Old ones. <laughs> well, I mean, compared to we've got plenty of other ones in town that are. Yeah. Well, we were trying to good, if not get worse. a roll. Uh, I'm fine with it. Yeah, uh, but good. what were the addresses? Roughly. I know David's is 95, so I don't know what the other ones are. Okay. Uh, yeah, they, but they should submit it to us in writing. If you've got it in an email? I've got it in a text oh, message. I have. Then fine. That's in writing. Owl Drive has been accepted. We didn't have a vote yet. You can't send that out. Okay. <laughs> Motion to accept Owl Drive. Uh, excuse me, please. <laughs> you really are campaigning. I'm no, I wanted Owl Court, like I said. That was better. But I guess we have to have drives. Off <coughs> is it Green Farm? What is it? It says it's not Green Farm Drive, is it? No. 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 Yeah. Oh, there he is. How are you? Good. Hello. We were just talking about you. That's why my ears are ringing. <laughs> yeah. Can you give me the numbers for that? I'm sorry. The what? house numbers. 
house numbers. Yeah. You said you were going to take care of that, but I do have a suggestion. If you oh, what you oh, what you currently currently yeah. currently yeah yeah we do have that yeah what are they? I'm ninety nine ninety nine five. So Robin, is it? Uh, is Robin that's okay. That's close enough. Shane's 97, and you're 99. So 93 through 99. Yep. And the Cormiers, I, when we spoke to the Cormiers, they, they didn't feel like they were a part of this. Like, uh, they were so close to Green Farm. So. I, I talked to them, and they said their driveway was off of Green Farm. Yes. Yep. So well, good. it's basically, so, like, I can see their point. Their house is right here. Here's Green Farm. And then where ours goes down, the private driveway. But where is their driveway? It's technically shared with ours. Okay, then that's what it needs to be off of. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but I didn't get that impression from her. Okay. I mean, she called and said her driveway was off the farm. So, well, they all are. Well, they right all are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, right well, well right the question is where's their front door? I mean, yeah. where. Front door doesn't matter. Our frontage. It's right up there. I think she's right on the corner, right? Yeah, so basically their house is right here. So when you first turn on to like our driveway, like their house is like this, but it's still a part of our property. Do they drive. have do they have to go onto that drive to get to their yes, property? They do. I think if we're responding to fire police. They would have to Yeah. Yeah. Make yeah, so they have to pull into a what's their address? 93, did you say? No, I don't know what the Cormiers is. I thought it was 101, but I'm not positive. I'm not 100% sure either. I didn't, uh, she basically excluded herself from the conversation. I was like, oh, okay, I just, uh, you know, so and I didn't want to, that she, wasn't for me. That's she may or may now. not have a choice. Yeah. Again, that's not, that's not for me. <laughs> But I did have a suggestion for our house numbers, if um, if you'd like to hear it and then take it under consideration. We don't do numbers. Okay. The only thing we do is the street. Building inspector does. Building inspector will do the numbers, and that's he needs to do that via E nine one one. Okay. They're the ones that will. So help can you. I can I um, possibly put in a request to him? Sure. Okay. No, I'm asking. Yeah. Okay. He may tell you no, but yeah. so you just it's perfectly fine. It's yeah. just a suggestion that yeah. came up amongst the group. Yeah, so you would just have to send him an email and you okay. can reach it on the um, town website. Would you okay. Could one of you gentlemen help me out here? Sure. Come on up. Nope. That's no. what is showing okay. is one oh one Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see that that's that is the nope. That's not even our driveway. Oh, okay, hold on. Yes, okay, yeah, so see, this is Green Farm. You pull yep. it, that's the Cormiers. That's Mr. Bulldog. Okay, let's go to this house. That's the one that's saying that they're off of Green Farm. Yep. Yeah. That's this house. That's the Cormiers property, yeah. yep. So it basically, you you still have to. You have to turn I mean, onto the drive. Literally, and then it's, it's right so it, there. Oh, so, so yes. it's that one right yeah. there. Yeah. So you still have to turn onto that private way. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I suppose if they really wanted to get technical, they could just cut that part out. And but see, now that that's the town road, you have to get permission to do a. Right. Yeah. Not, yeah. Not my battle. I know uh, exactly, but I'm today. saying that that <laughs> should be uh, part of the name of the. The road. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I know. I know what it looks like. I've yeah. been up there. It's kind of a strange configuration. Did the other one that was away, wasn't it? When we did Lantern, or was that Lantern Drive before they changed it? I think it was Lantern Way. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we can pretty I, much 
I'll put a motion to name it Owl Drive. Drive or way? Drive. Drive. Is there a, is there a difference between a drive and a way? You park in a driveway and you drive in a parkway. But other than that, no. <laughs> Most of the ones we've done it as a as a drive. In other okay. words, it, you know, when people talk about a public way. Yep. We definitely don't want it a public way. No. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Owl Drive. Owl Drive. Thank you, John. Thank you. Uh, and if you want to meet, probably come in and ask Laurie because Rick's, what's he in, only on Monday mornings? Monday mornings, yeah. Monday mornings 10 to 12. Mm -hmm. I think it's in those hours. And he actually has office hours. Okay. Uh, if not, you could leave a request with Lori. Yeah, uh, yeah. Did you uh, did did you look into the sign perhaps like uh, for a street sign? So yeah, I think for a matter of the two signs, the town will yeah. get the sign. We appreciate yeah. that very much. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All set. Great. Thank, Thank you. Very much. Thanks, guys. See, this wasn't painless at all. No. <laughs> Thank you guys for your time. Thank Thanks. you. Have a great all right. See you. Enjoy. Yeah, only concern I have is we probably need to inform Mrs. Cormier's that uh, well, the letter will go to all. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's yeah. fine. And uh, we'll probably hear from her. No, I'm sure will. And then I'll tell Peter about the signs. Yeah, I will drive and bring a drive. Yeah, I drive. Yeah, with a copy to the building inspector as well, so he's aware. to Debbie as well, so she can yeah. add it to the files. What do I go to pay that property tax? Do I go to Jessica? To Jess, okay. yeah. 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 Didn't she leave? She told me she was leaving. Oh. Yeah. So, maybe that's why you can't. Yeah. Uh, Is it cash? We'll take it. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> <laughs> I said, that's probably not what I should be yeah. saying. <laughs> yeah, leave it to me. Yeah. <laughs> Just one yeah. question, Old Town Hall, uh, did you get a chance to stop by? <laughs> Not yet. Okay. He had a report though, right? You read that? No. Oh. Did you look at was that, that in the orange <laughs> folder? <laughs> Which folder was that? <laughs> <laughs> Would you just send that out? Mm -hmm. and we'll yeah, it, it, he sent it along with his invoice. It was just a little oh. ditty. Everything was going along as planned. All right, and, yeah, that's fine. But I'll send okay. that out to you. I said today at lunchtime, I was going to go by there. Just get hung up doing. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, motion to go in a non-public under ninety-one RSA ninety-one.